Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you five different things that you can do to avoid getting bubbles in your nail polish. This video came up because I just painted my nails, but I did it in a hurry and I didn't follow these five steps. So you can see here, like I have a ton of bubbles in my nails, so I need to redo this. So I thought this will be a perfect time to show you guys how to paint your nails the right way so you do not get these bubbles. So this is the nail polish I'm using, and I have used this before, so I know it's a good nail polish. Um, this is also a brand new bottle. I just bought it. So that's the first thing is make sure it's not old nail polish. And probably the most important rule is do not shake the bottle before you put it on your nails. The other thing you want to do is use nail polish remover and really rub your nail really good. Get off any lotion you might have on there. Uh, make sure the nail is really clean. This also works really good because if you feel your nail, you can feel it's kind of gritty or like sticky. So that helps the nail polish adhese better. Another way to avoid bubbles is to always apply a base coat before your nail polish. So the final step in ensuring you don't get bubbles is you want to do a couple thin layers instead of one really thick layer. Um, this is the one of the main reasons why you get air bubbles is because the layer is so thick and then the paint um, gets those bubbles when it's drying. So I'm going to paint on a thin coat. So now I'm going to let that dry and we'll look at it in a few minutes. All right, so it's been about five minutes and hopefully you can see that there's no bumps, um, but I do need to apply a second coat, so we're gonna do that. So the trick is two thin coats, not one thick one. So here you can see the difference in my nails. I use the exact same nail polish, but the one that's all bubbly, I rushed and I just did it really fast. And then the other one, I followed the five steps. So it really does make a huge difference. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave me comments below so I know you are here, or if you have any other video suggestions for me. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and then hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a new video, and I'll talk to you later.